Hey y'all, it's Rosie here at Rosie's Garage, and I got myself a new little accessory today um, from Thrash and Supply. Um, I'm getting their new floorboards here. These are the uh, regular floorboards. I'm probably gonna do the brake pedal too, so it'll match better. These things are badass. They're beautifully machined. Um, you can see the detail work. There's not a scratch on these. Um, that's the bottom side where you put the adapters in, and those are right here. I'm not gonna do a step-by-step. -step. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them all on, figure it out, and then I'll show you a video afterwards what they look like installed, and I'll point out what to do. But you can kind of see, I wanted to, before I started, I wanted to show you the difference between the floorboard. So there's the thrashing board, obviously, and there's the factory board. Um, they can be mounted, and I showed real quick the bottom, in all sorts of different spaces. You can move it to the center space. is supposed to be the same as stock. Um, and then you can move it an inch further back or an inch further forward. Really cool, uh, do have that option. I think mine's probably gonna sit right about here, like that, I um, think. I'll find out, I'll put it on, and if I don't like where it is, then I can move it. Um, you can see that they are wider. I'm gonna get from underneath so you can see. Um, they are considerably wider at the toe part where you're gonna rest your feet down there, um, but they're a lot skinnier in the back half, which is cool because that's typically, so let me get this, I think that's pretty much how it lines up. That's pretty much where you hit when you lean over is gonna be right at this spot right here. So that kind of bevels away from there. Anyway, I'm gonna put them on, I'll show you all what they look like and then I'll give you a riding impression after I'm done. Okay, we're back and it's about 45 minutes later. The boards are on, they would have been done a little faster, actually probably about 20 minutes, but I ended up moving them back. Um, I sat on it and I thought about it there. So you basically get a range of three inches all the way back in the middle and then all the way forward. Um, I decided I wanted them all the way back. A, it gives me a little bit more of that kind of mid control feel. So if I'm gonna be putting weight down, going around the corners, I kind of like that a little bit better. Um, it only moves it an inch back from the center position and the way you do it, look underneath here is if you can see hopefully you can see these holes here let me get a little closer there you go you can see the holes and you just basically choose which i have them all the way on the forward holes so there's holes there holes there holes there holes there and i went with in the mid-range they look amazing first of all i'm not gonna lie they look sick um they're definitely bigger than the factory ones, but if you notice the skinny part in the back here, and I'm gonna go the other, I know I put them away already. Um, well, eh, heck, hold on a second. Now, how many of you have a box like that? It's just crap that I keep pulling off the bike. Anyway, I'm gonna take you back over. No one ever goes on that side of the garage. It's like the walkthrough section. I'm gonna take it over so you can see what the factory ones, by the way, you can see a little bit better the scrape areas you get. You actually grind it down a little bit. So this would be mounted. I'm gonna do it right there, basically there. So I'm not sure they may hit too much. Now that's yeah, right about there. They may hit too much like that. I'll find out when I take it out um, and we'll see. And I kind of like a little bit of grind, to be honest with you. It kind of lets you know that you're getting close to hard parts that don't move. Uh, these do move, so under the weight of the bike, they will give a little bit, um, which is your safety zone. I probably will be doing the brake pedal to match because honestly, it kind of looks a little awkward there. Uh, the shifter side, I think I'm gonna leave it alone. I do like the little knurled shifter knob there, but realistically, it, I don't know, we'll see. So I just got back from about a 200 mile ride yesterday and I love the way these feel. Uh, the one thing I didn't anticipate is my, I actually have a little bit more leg room and not feeling forward, but more, if you take a look, you can see where the level is of this, where the metal mounts. See, this is about at least a half inch higher, maybe more if I actually got them level, it's hard to do with one hand. But you can feel the difference between this floorboard and this floorboard. Um, the actual distance to the ground feels like you're actually, your feet are lower to the ground. Once again, for those of you who want to see the difference, uh, this is about where they'd be mounted stock. So that's the difference. Uh, he almost did on right here. 
So I don't know if y'all can see, but that's where they would be stocked. So you get a little bit extra right over here. Definitely get a little bit more room back here. And in the front, it's about even lengthwise, but you get a lot more width. So I don't fit there because this giant air cleaner, it looks awesome, but to be honest, one of these days, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. Anyway, thanks for watching Rosie's Garage. Appreciate y'all. Peace.